distance. Shortest distance, right? Now, displacement is displacement is the shortest. Displacement is the shortest distance between the two points. When I say this shortest distance, when I say shortest distance, it is a scalar quantity then, but displacement can be this way or that way. If, if I tell you displacement is 2 meters, displacement is 2 meters, could be right hand side, could be left hand side, both ways. Yes or no? So it is a vector quantity. Okay? But when you say this, you are talking about magnitude. What about direction of the displacement? Which direction? From initial to final point, the vector is from initial point to the final point. Right now, the direction of the displacement vector is from initial point to the final point. So this is the displacement vector. Okay, it is represented by letter S with a cap. Okay. Now tell me, is displacement unique? Yes. Displacement, the, the magnitude of displacement is unique. Yes. Shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. Yes or no? Can you prove it? How? Only one straight line can pass through. How? Between two points, the shortest distance is a straight line. Prove it. What? What? No, that is like you are doing experiment to find out that is shortest. You have to prove it. Ah, ah, you can use a triangle. This thing. If you draw a triangle, then some of the two sides will be always greater than the third side. That way, the sum of the two sides will be equal to the third side only when they are collinear. And hence, the shortest distance between the two points is the straight line. Okay? Now, it is a vector quantity also. Now, tell me, displacement can it be negative? Yes. It can be negative? Yes or no? It can be negative. It can be zero, it can be positive also. So it can attain any value. Understood? It can be any value. Any doubt? No doubt? Please do these two questions. First one is this. Object is going from A to B in a circular path of radius R. Okay? Tell me, tell me its distance, how much and magnitude of the displacement is what? Displacement is 2R. Displacement is 2R? 2R is a displacement? Pi R is a distance? Pi R is the circumference of this path? Yes or no? Pi R is the distance and 2R is the displacement. Okay? Now do this question. You have stopped talking. You have a disc of radius R which can roll on the horizontal surface. Okay, here is a point P. Here is a point P. Suppose it rolls by 360 degree. P will again come down or not? Okay. It rolls by 180 degrees. It rolls by 180 degrees. Find out the displacement of point P. That is completely wrong. Completely wrong. When 
it is rolling, it will move forward also. Wrong. Wrong.
somebody said something. Speak. What is speed? Understood. You are telling me mathematically what is the formula of speed? Distance covered over what? I mean, you are telling me how it is getting quantified. How fast? How fast or how quickly the distance is covered? Are you getting it? Write down. Speed is speed is how fast speed represents speed represents how fast I said by the way the, the previous question you found the displacement right the homework is those who want to aim for advanced level please find out the distance covered by point P it will move like this curve path and go like that okay, it's not a circle it will take okay anyways that is a homework so, when you went just now, oh, I did not notice. Okay, speed right now, right now, speed is, speed is how quickly or how fast the distance is being covered. The distance is being traversed. Understood? Okay? So if you have to quantify this thing, if you have to put a number to the speed, how quickly it is covering the distance? So if it takes lesser time, the speed should be more. If it is covering more distance, speed should be more. So that is why it is quantified as rate of change of distance rate at which distance is covered ok so there is a formula for the average speed write down average speed is total distance by total time this is the average speed Okay, so suppose you come from your home to this place, to this place, let us say 10 kilometers is your home from this place and it takes you about 1 hour. So what is the speed? 10 kilometers per hour. That is the average speed. Okay, but are you actually traveling with 10 kilometers per hour? Need not be, you might be stopping at some place, then you again took a bus, then you probably your dad is dropping you over here, then you have to walk from there. So, every now and then, your speed is varying. Even when you are in a bus, bus stops, accelerates, it, its speed is changing continuously. Okay? So, what you have written here, it is a formula for the average speed. It is not the speed at a particular moment. That speedometer which is there in your bike or vehicle, that only shows speed at that moment. What the formula is, this is for the average speed. On an average, if you have to travel with a constant speed and to reach there at the same time, you need to travel with this much speed. If your speed is constant. Are getting it? But the fact of the matter is that speed usually is not constant. Continuously it keeps on varying. So how to find speed at a particular moment? You understood? How to find the speed at a particular moment? How will you find it? You will assume a very very small distance covered. Getting it? Suppose I want to find out this speed right now. My speedometer wants to find out what is the speed right now. Okay? Suppose I am in a car and I need to find out what is the car will find out what is the speed. Car will have a very very small displacement. So this much displacement it has, it will calculate the average speed between these two very very close time intervals. Understood? If you find out the average 
find out the average speed if your time taken is let's say one hour, it is one thing. Or let's say if your time taken is let's say 0 0.01 second. So in this time itself, if your distance travelled is 0 0.01 meters, okay, then you have essentially found out the average speed between two very very close points. As if those two points are overlapping, okay, then that average speed becomes speed at that moment. Understood? Ultimately, there also you are finding the average speed also, but the two points are extremely close to each other, as if they are overlapping. So you can say average speed at that moment is the instantaneous speed at that moment. Okay, getting it? No doubt. Okay. Speed is represented by a symbol S. Even displacement is represented by S. But displacement has a cap. Speed is a scalar quantity. Speed is a scalar quantity. Can speed be negative? No. Can it be zero? Yes. So it can be greater than or equal to zero. It cannot be less than zero. Understood? Okay. We'll have a break after I have done introducing these things. There are a couple of more. What about it? Chalo, chalo. Let's solve this to make if if let us say all of you get it right, then we'll have a break. Simple numerical, simple, very very simple, okay, fine, we'll start, so here is the numerical, you are going in a straight line, see I have taken a very simple example, moving in a straight line, A to B, okay, fine, from A to C, you are travelling with a velocity of V1 or speed of V1 okay and the distance is S1 and C to B your velocity is V2 and distance is S2 Get a smart so find out the average speed or an average velocity both You have to find the average speed and average velocity. Constant speed. Constant speed from A to C and B and C to B constant speed. Okay, so here is first one who has claimed to be done. If he is wrong, then you know. Can we take B? Can we take B? Huh? Can we take B? Can we take anything? But it may be wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Others? Ah, correct. Time to lean on this day. I can do you work into a lean on it. Things are very simple, you are making it complicated. Okay? Total distance is how much? S1 plus S2. S1 plus S2 is total distance. Total time is what? S1 by V1 is time from A to C plus S2 by V2. So this is total time, this is total distance, and this is the average speed. This is the average. What about average velocity? It is C. Because everything is going in same direction. So the way they add up, the only the numerator 